Hello, I'm Ed Robb, and I'm so happy to share with you about my new book, Making Room, Sharing the Love of Christmas. I think it's a fresh approach to the Christmas story. Our four chapters focus on bringing the love of God to neighbors, our own neighbors, to strangers around us, to those who are maybe outcast or shunned or marginalized, and also about the fact that we need one another, about community. Chapter one considers the innkeeper in, well, I think in a different light. Rather than depicting the innkeeper as the one who turned away a poor, desperate couple, I suggest that perhaps we should see him or her as the one who took them in, the one who made room, one who provides an example to us of how we can be a good neighbor. We can follow the lead of the Bethlehem innkeeper by extending love and warmth to the strangers in our community, beginning in our own neighborhoods, perhaps with the people next door. In chapter two, we consider how we can welcome strangers into our midst. Jesus' open door attitude and his sensitivity towards strangers may well have started with his parents. After all, Joseph and Mary made room for others from the very beginning, providing us a lesson in in gracious hospitality. Think of it. They invited the wise men, the magi, strangers really, into their lodging and, and allowed them to worship this newborn son. During a time when when most people would would want to close their doors and draw an invisible line of protection around their new family and and their vulnerable infant, Mary and Joseph opened to theirs. And let's not forget that there is another experience from Jesus' early life which surely, surely made an impact on him. It's when he and his parents became the strangers in Egypt, when they were forced to flee for safety and and became refugees, political refugees really, from home and dependent upon the kindness of others. Extending care and kindness to the outcast and the marginalized, that's the focus of the third chapter. Consider, for instance, the shepherds. (laughs) Now, we romanticize the shepherds but really they were at the bottom of the social ladder. They they were smelly men who attended smelly sheep, shunned by proper society. And yet they were the very ones to receive first the good news of Jesus' birth. God so loved the outcast, the marginalized, that he sent his only son on that first Christmas to conduct an all out search as Jesus shined his light into the darkness of our world, the truth of our human condition was revealed. All of us are outcasts, really, for every single one of us is a sinner who has fallen from God's grace. The fourth chapter focuses on Jesus and why he was born in Bethlehem. He came to bring light into our world and walk us back home to the Father. Thank goodness for a loving God who would not let us go and does not leave us alone despite the fact that we are lost. But there's another component to this Christmas story. Christ doesn't just come to walk us back home, but he also came to call us into community. Why? Because Jesus knew that the road of faith would not always be easy. Jesus said, In this world, you will have trouble. We need to be in community with one another. Jesus knew that. And as the Apostle Paul would later write, why? To encourage one another and to build each other up and to carry each other's burdens. Making room, sharing the love of Christ. That's what this book is about.